So the first step is need a crafting table. Yep. Yep. I'm having this error now where it doesn't say the network has enough power or some shit. I don't know. But it goes away, so whatever. Oh, arcane workbench. Okay. So what next? It's been a while since I ran the simulation. Uh, cool. So we hit complete on that. Nice. Awesome. I've made a workbench. Now I need to make something called a th thermometer so I can observe. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fucking hell! Guess I'm not gonna read it. Oh, I don't think I can read it though because my voice is a bit fucked. Yeah, voice is still fucked by the way. It's been like, um, how long has it been now? Like a month? I can't go to the doctors either because um, <laughs> I refuse to get a corona test. I, I ain't getting a corona test. I gotta go so far away to get one. So uh, I, I'm just living with a damaged throat. So, yep. Uh, you guys can read it if you want. But essentially we need to craft a thermometer and we can observe the world around us and learn from all the all the different things that we run our eyes through the thermometer on. So that is that is that is what we can do. Cool. So we just need gold, glass, and all of the crystals. Okay. Forgot about that. We need to fill this thing with all the all the the prime 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 essence V crystals or whatever you wanna whatever you want to call it. It's like different essence essences. <laughs> Earth, air, water, fire. When the Fire Nation attacked, Thorncraft started. Fuck. Okay. So we need to fill this up with all the different crystals. Crystal. Okay, so Terra is a base base element. Fire is base. Air is base. Auto is base, I think. Perdito is base. And... You ran out of power while I was in there. Okay. Uh, which one are we missing? We're missing one of them. Hang on. Ah, water and terra. Wait, no, I got terra. Aqua. There we go. So this crafting table will use the essences and extract them out of the um crystals to craft things for us cool so we just needed gold and glass was it a thermometer i think it was a thermometer yeah oh wrong glass aha so that'll use up some of the local aura or magic or whatever the fuck you want to call it in the area to craft it. And it should replenish itself over here. Keyword should. I'm actually going to craft a few of these because um, there are a few recipes, I think, that are going to require these. Also, them themselves also have the essence on them. Cool. Nice. Oh, they have EMC values. Are you serious? That... <laughs> Yulin 3.0 Lazy Man loves this. Oh boy. Okay. Didn't have to do that. Okay, cool. We wasted all the all the local magic in the area for no reason. Uh cool. Give me thermometer. Excellent. Ah. Now we can start learning shit. Well, I mean we, we can start observing everything around us. And we'll start gathering stuff into our journal, which is really cool. So now it's just me autistically spamming the right-click button for like two hours straight on everything I can find. So, um, one of the best ways we can do this actually is... One of the best ways we can do this is to... Check this out. Chest. Hang on. Let's also get rid of all the stuff we don't need to use. Put away this, 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 this. Cool. So we'll grab a chest. Um, preferably one of the biggest ones we can get. There we go. Alright, so crystal chest. Does this have an EMC value, by the way? That would make things so much easier. Yes, it does. So 
So we just grab one of every item from our system. Now, I, I'm not sure if I'm clicking the same items over and over again, but there are just so many items in my system that I'm just going to trust. I didn't. I don't think I actually needed that many chests. Um, yep. <laughs> okay, now I'm just clicking at random because there's so many items in, items in my system. I can't actually scan the system itself to um, cheese, cheese this, but essentially, look. Amazing. Now that is beautiful. And then just do the same over here. Bam! Look at all that. So, oh, oh my god, let's put that away. <laughs> so, if we go into our book now, I think we unlocked a bunch of stuff. Well, I mean, we didn't actually, but we did, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, it, uh, this little thingy will help us in the future when we unlock more stuff, I think. Also on the top left, I think. I think that's the, um... I don't know what that is on the top left. Whenever I hold this, this little thing on the top left pops up. That's cool. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna take a break, because, um, my voice is hurting. And... Australian healthcare is annoying. Okay, cool. I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So... Bunch of shit happened. <laughs> don't you love that cut? A second ago, we didn't have a house. Now we do. And also, we have some shit in our inventory that, um... That I was about to start doing, but I forgot to hit the record button. Lol. Um, cool. So... Yes. Next step. Next step. Next step. Next step. Is to move over to discovering alchemy. And we need to craft a crucible. Which is essentially a cauldron thingy that we can chuck stuff into. And it'll break down the things we chuck into it. Into their core essence or whatever. And then from there we can extrapolate that essence into other things. So that's pretty neat. Also, I'm pretty worried on setting up... I need to put some sort of fire or lava source underneath this. There is something called Nitor that should be safer, but... Uh... On the stream... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we streamed making this, by the way. Thank you for everyone who joined. Um... Yes. Hopefully there's no lightning strikes, because I made most of the area out of wood. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, where are we going to do the cauldron, you may ask? Somewhere where we won't fucking set fire to everything? Probably here is good. I need to make sure the lava doesn't spread to anything. And I do want to have lava. And I don't have lava. We have a flint and steel? That should work. I think this works. I would prefer to have this in- Ah! I would prefer to have this inside, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, cool. D How? Oh, okay, I guess you just don't like grass, huh? Fine. Jeez. God damn it. Just wants to catch fire everywhere. A little bit of basalt around here. Should be cool. Um, then we'll also do this. I want to make it so water gets pumped into this immediately. But we will probably do a single crafting recipe to begin with. Just to show you what it looks like when we have to fill up the water again. But essentially, I think that should be good. Okay. We need to need water. Oh, there's another black hole over there. Might need to get rid of that. Let's make a quick infinite water source. Just really fast. So, in theory, this should work. Lava, fire, whatever. We have to wait until it reaches, reaches the boiling point. We'll see it start seeing bubbles. Just like you're cooking some boiled eggs in real life. I wonder if we can boil eggs in this. No, they'll just break down into their essence. Fuck it! Let's boil some eggs so I can show you what goes on. Egg. What's it, eggs? So we have five... So I'm holding shift right now. You can see the two icons... Uh, over there. You got the red one, and then you got the wolf sign. The heart and the wolf. 
So from my experience, I think the wolf is called Bestia or something, and the red one's called something. It's not called something, but it's called something. I don't know. <laughs> it's essentially the life essence. This is actually taking a while to boil, I think. Is it boiling yet or what? Nope. It might actually need lava. Cool, so this is still not boiling. I don't know why it's not really working, but whatever. Choose lava. So that should boil. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot! Hit it with the fucking thing first! The fire probably works. I'm just a fucking idiot, that's all. I forgot to do the thing that we we're meant to do. That that's that's gonna boil instantly. I'm pretty sure the firewood would have would have worked. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink break because go fuck yourself. Okay, cool. So that should work this one out. Yeah, sweet, complete, nice. Discovering alchemy. All right, let's uh let's actually read this because um my voice is feeling okay. We took a break. Cool. I have my crucible now. I need something to experiment with, and I happen to have the perfect thing. I've spent many a late night studying thaumaturgy, and flickering torchlight is not the best thing to read by. A steady magical light is exactly what I need now. Glowstone is a steady source of light, but I require large handfuls of it for a light source, and it lacks style. I am sure I can alter it into something better. The crucible needs to be placed over a source of heat and filled with water. I have done this. Once the water boils, I can start adding the things I need. I have jotted down a recipe that I think will create a substance I have named Nitor. A small core of energized glowstone empowered with energy, fire and light should burn forever. It should be naturally buoyant, allowing it to be placed wherever I choose, even floating in midair. I simply need to find objects with the required essentia, pressing shift whilst hovering over an item might help here, and throw them into the crucible. Okay, cool. We get the point. The dude who wrote this book figured out how to make this thing called Nitor. So we're going to need 10 fire, 10 light, 10 potentia, and then we chuck the catalyst in, which is the glowstone dust, and then, boom, it gives us the Nitor. So here's the fun game of um, trying to discover what in our system has the right amount of stuff. Uh, okay, cool. So one of them was Lux, right? So I can only assume that Glowstone itself probably has more than enough Lux. <laughs> it's also got this other thing on it, which is sort of bad, I think. Do need to be careful that you don't chuck in too much excess stuff that you're not going to be using in the crafting recipe, because from my experiences and the simulation I ran, that will leak into the atmosphere and do very, very bad things. Yeah, so you generally want to try try get it as close as you can to the actual recipe. The other one was fire, right? Uh, Ignis and Potentia. Okay, so that, that Potentia is like a gear thing, it looks like. So I'm assuming redstone. Yep. Probably going to craft like four of these. What was the other one? Fire. Okay. What does this have? Nope. Lava. What does lava have? That is more than enough fire. However, there is a bunch of other shit in that. But hopefully it goes okay. Um, we're actually going to want... A few more pieces of glowstone. Okay, cool. So what this is going to do is... Ah, uh, we might have a bad situation here, but... We have to do it primitively for the moment, for the time being, since uh, I'm not really sure on what the hell I could get. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. I wonder if our interface can teach us. Is it Ignis? I think it's called Ignis. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So what has Ignis? 25 pages of stuff. Interesting. But what can I chuck in there that'll give me a good yield without killing everything? Magma blocks. Okay. That's actually a bit better. We'll do magma blocks. So instead of lava, which is going to give us shit tons of other stuff that's going to leak into the atmosphere, we'll use magma blocks. So... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, one more glowstone. Shit. Uh, yep. Cool. That should be it. 
Then there should only be Terra in there, I think, from the remainder of the magma. See how there was the green thingy? I think that's the only thing that should be left in there. I could shift right click it right now and it dissipate everything into the air, but I'd rather not. I'd just rather let it stay in there for now. <sighs> I'd prefer not to let it leak into the air. Cool. So I can replace the lava now with um, Nitor, I think, which is pretty neat. This is also a light source, if I recall correctly. Yep. Sweet. Oh, wait. That means we can, um, we can do it in here now. Let's do it over here. Okay, now that we have it set up in here, let me just quickly make a reservoir. Hang on, don't I have an ender tank that has water in it? I think I do. Yes, I do, sweet. So something neat you can do is... Essentially just pipe water straight in, which is really neat. Oh no, that works. Cool. So that should just start bubbling immediately. Sweet! We have the breaky down thing. Nice. So, what are we going to do next? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What are these things? Discovering Oromancy. Interesting. Alright. Discovering objects of power with Vs has opened up a whole new world for me, yet I am not satisfied. There must be a way of manipulating the aura directly, a way to draw Vs from the very air itself and mold it to my will. I should study the world around me and travel to its edges. There I will learn what I need. Sometimes I feel like I am driven by forces outside my understanding and unheard voices urging me towards great power knowledge. Shaping Vs will be one more step on the on this journey. Okay. Um, edge of the world. Okay. Don't know what that means, but... Oh, we got a complete over here. Cool. So what do we got? We can make some new stuff. We can make some robes, which will give us Vs discount. Which I'm assuming is a discount in the crafting recipes, once we get to them. Cool. Cool, 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 So there are two types of knowledge, according to this journal. Observations and theories. They are further subdivided into main research categories, like alchemy and artifice. Observations are notes and discoveries you have made in the real world by scanning objects. Practical observation often gives you insight into how things work, and by keeping field notes of those observations, you will slowly build a solid base of knowledge to work from. Theories, in a nutshell, are a way of understanding things through careful observation, rational thought, and practical experimentation. Much of thaumaturgical research requires crafting theories to better understand research categories. So when I said this is uh, not as relaxing as astral sorcery, I was not wrong. Um, I feel like I'm reading a professor's journal, whereas the other one was more so someone just studying the stars. My brain hurts. <laughs> Simple caveman, want to understand. Oh, fuck. For me, for me to make any progress as a thaumaturge, I cannot rely on simply studying the world around me or stumbling upon ancient knowledge. I will need to make my own discoveries and expand my knowledge through experimentation. Crafting my own theories is the only way. I will need to create a comfortable workspace to do my research with ample supplies like writing materials and paper. I should craft some scribing tools and place it upon a table. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So we'll make a table, and we'll make some scribing tools, and this will be how we start researching new stuff, I think. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's just place all the night tour over here, just because we can, because that looks cool. E. Alright. Also, let's grab some ineffable glass. Put that there. There we go. I feel slightly safer now. Oh my god, dude. Please. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Every, every, anything new we craft, we should probably scan it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the night tour as well. Cool. 
Okay. So... Oh yeah, that's right, table. A wooden table. Cool. And scribing tools. Sweet. Oh, cool. We can also copy this with... Um... Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Can we, can't, can we copy this? No, of course not. Of course not. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Alright, so, boop. Cool. And now begins the theory. Theory crafting. Nice. So, this is an entirely thing all by itself. I've gotten decently far into this in the simulation. Once again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with the simulation, um, backtrack a bit. Uh, I can't be bothered explaining. Essentially, I set up I set up a virtual environment in um in the in the main in the main base near where the villagers are, and we ran this. And as, as I said, I can't be bothered explaining. All I'm saying is, essentially, I've been through a little bit of this, so I know a little bit, but I haven't explored all of this. So. I'm a bumbling buffoon, aren't I? Fucking hell, I can't speak English. Okay. Paper. Cool. I just assume we need paper over there. Because, one, I think I remember, and two, it looks like paper. <laughs> so, the way this theory crafting works is we need to get the light bulbs all the way to zero. And we can sort of narrow down what sort of theory we want to get. Because usually it's like random. But if we, like, click on this, there's more chance we'd get a certain theory subject in regards to the crafting recipes of that particular particular item or whatever. But I'm just going to go random for now because I want to. Boop. Cool. So the idea is to get all the way to zero light bulbs. And some of these things we're not actually going to be able to click on. So, for instance, I don't think we can grab a hold of this object here which we need to progress through that bit to get the light bulb down over here so we're just going to go with the one that doesn't require any items so experimentation two light bulbs gone can't do that as well inspired two light bulbs gone uh, i don't think it matters here uh, essentially uh, I usually just don't read these and just click away. It's more or less just a time consumption thing, this whole thing. Oh, you dude. <sighs> Can I actually do this? So this is a fun fact. Um, we need to start again, I think. Uh, unless we can get a hold of Cognitio crystals or Fabrico crystals, crystals. And I'm pretty sure a way we can do so, granted. Hang on, there might be a way we can get a hold of these. If we have the required research in order to do so. So. I think they're called quartz slivers. I think. Okay, hopefully this works. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll, we'll try. So, cog Cognitio was one of them we needed, right? Okay, what's what what consists of Cognitio? What, what can we use? Glasses? Um... Okay, brains, sure. This might not work. We might not actually have the necessary items. So if we chuck a brain in here, can we do this? Okay. Yeah, I think we need a certain type of research in order to convert leftover essence inside the um, cauldron into particular crystals or whatever. And I'm not really sure how to do that at the moment, so... Goodbye, research. <coughs> Start again. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, hang on. I've got to rethink that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my god, scrap theory. <laughs> scrap theory. Scrap theory. Oh my god, let's just do this, see if that works. Let's actually study the cauldron and see if we can figure out how to convert the thingies. Oh my god, scrap theory. Oh my god, scrap theory. 
Uh, scrap theory. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, hang on. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, hang on, we can complete this. Okay, I'm a fucking idiot. I should have just... Okay. Go back to the journal, generally, is a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have a workspace, I should start performing some research. I can now formulate theories, blah, 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 blah. Manipulate magic to my own ends, blah, blah, blah. Firstly, I should be able to make a table that has plenty of paper. Yep, done, 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 done. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, okay. So, uh, normally research is a bit of a scattershot. I can direct my research with the use of research aids. If I use certain nearby blocks, items, and curios during the research process, it would allow me to focus my research into a certain direction, which is what I was describing before. Um, I'm just wondering if adding other things will help. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Celestial observation. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that's right, you can scan the sky. You get notes. As long as you have um, ink and paper in your inventory, it should work, I think. Okay, you can only do it like once per day or whatever, so. All right, cool. Yeah, so at night time, I gotta try scan as much as I can as well. So a whole lot of um, this entire system of magic and stuff and tapping into the, um, what's it called, Vs and stuff that this civilization used is pretty similar to astral sorcery in a way. But it comes, it's, I feel like it's a lot more complicated than astral sorcery. There's a lot more stuff. Okay, scrap theory. Can we, can we like get a single theory at all? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, look, an empty one. <sighs> we can do this. We can get through at least like one fucking, one fucking thing. Oh my god, dude, dude. Oh my god, okay. Um, let's try and chuck a few other, a few other of these things that it had on the book around this area to see if it, it'll help. Scrap. Study Arcane Infusion. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god. Okay, so the other things I don't have access to, but... It would be really nice if I could even get one research done. Like a single one, please. Just the chances... <laughs> the, the luck I'm having right now of everything being taken up by a spot where I need an item to progress is just ridiculous. Oh my god, are you serious? Two. Run out of paper. Ponder. <gasps> are you serious? Wait, can I reject that? Reject. Oh! I got one! But we totally but butchered the thing! Look over on the top, on the top right. We basically declined the research in two different departments and just, we got a tiny bit on Eldritch, I think, which is, which it, it is, I, I, okay. I, 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 yep. That was bullshit. Um, so yeah, um, this research table's fun, huh? Makes you want to blow your brains out, huh? Oh my god, we actually got one. But it didn't really give us anything. Nice to know. Alright, so I'm pretty sure if we actually like move over, we've got the fundamentals over here and then we've also got alchemy and then we've also got Ar arcane infusion, which are just different trees in this entire huge fucking journal. Um, as I said, this thing is way more complicated than natural sorcery, in my opinion anyway. And also I'm pretty sure that's just the base fact that it's way more complicated. <laughs> cool. Um, hang on a second. Oh, there we go. We can do crystals now. That helps a lot. Okay, all I needed to do was sort of just click on this thing to give it a kick in the ass and to move ahead. Cool. So we should be able to do what I was talking about before, yeah? Should. Just like chuck a single brain in there. 
It works. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Come on, dude. Fill up with water again. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, so now I can actually get crystals I need to progress through this, which is neat. Cool. So, what I'm actually going to do is see what has the most amount. I'm just going to chuck a bunch of shit in the cauldron, and I'm just going to convert a bunch of shit into crystals. So, we actually have some stuff to work with. Also, it's nighttime. Let me just quickly... Boop, boop, boop. Oh, hang on, I got rid of all my paper, didn't I? Cool, so we got some papers now that are from nighttime. Essentially studying the stars, I think. Goodbye, sir. Where the fuck is my... Okay, it's over here. Okay, so where are these chests? Okay, over the chests are over here. Cool. Just gonna yoink it. Can I, do I have a chest save in here? Yes, I do. Sweet. Put a chest over here. We'll chuck all of our research in there and the crystals. Just mostly anything that we're going to want to be using a lot. Put that in there as well. Cool. Alright, so we can teach this thing these quartz slivers. Just get a few of them. By a few, I mean a lot. Cool. And then, I don't know, let's get a, like a block of diamond. How much stuff did that ass have? Okay, that's just gonna give us a shit ton. Okay. Yeet! 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 Okay. I think... I think... Yep, yeah, that was everything. Cool. So I think that each crystal chews up two of the essence that was in there. So we just got a bunch of Vitreous crystals and a bunch of dis 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 I can't speak. Crystals. But, um, yeah. Cool. Kronos and Census. So now it's just a matter of finding out which items yield the vise that we're going to need to progress through the research. And this is where we will probably end it because I am going to need to do so much research and I'm going to probably kill someone if I have to do it all on camera. I'm going to blast music in my ears. I'm going to get through this and we'll come back. <laughs> if we don't come back... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, and we'll continue once all the research is done. But if we're able to actually get somewhere with just a little bit of research, I'll, I'll pop in I'll pop in back. But if the video is ending right now and you hear the background music, the do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, yeah, we're done. I'll see you next episode. Okay, adios.